guys, welcome to another video. Um, so I've been suffering from a cold um, this past couple of weeks, so bear in mind if my voice still sounds a bit croaky, it's still a bit like lingering, but today it is snowing and it's beautiful and I'm really excited, but also I'm sort of admiring the snow like from far away just you from while I'm inside the house in, in the comfort of my own home in the warmth. Um, Anyway, I'm blabbering now. Um, what I wanted to show you today is my friend. <laughs> and she gave me this, um, which is a bottle of clear coffee. So I actually don't know where you can buy this and I don't know if you can buy it in Japan. And I think it is a Japanese product. Um, I'm just sort of looking at the thing. It says country of Oregon is from Slovakia. So maybe it's a Slovakian product. I have tried this and it just tastes, it's sort of weird, like, so in Japan, if you didn't know, or you've, you've probably already heard of this before, but um, Japan has several very unusual, unusually flavoured um, water products, so there's like strawberry, you know, if, you've, if your country, in your country, you have like flavoured water, so like strawberry water, um, like watermelon flavoured water, well in Japan they have very weird ones, like yoghurt flavoured water, um, and some not so weird ones. They have one that's like tastes exactly like lemon tea. Um, this is not quite like that. I guess it's kind of like that, but it's not marketed as water. It's marketed as coffee that is see-through. Um, so if, if you can see up close, it's sort of got this like faint brownie discoloration, and it's um, cause the, and it's not the glass bottle. The actual glass bottle is like pure um, see-through, but this it's sort of like. Yeah. Now I did try it and it tastes like coffee, but the texture is very watery. So it tastes like watery coffee or a slightly watered down coffee to me. And I thought that was quite funny and I wondered if that's how they made it, if they just watered down the coffee or something. But it doesn't taste too watered down, but anyway. So if you do see this clear coffee, give you can definitely comment down below and like where to buy it because I actually don't know where to buy it. My friend just gave it to me for fun. But yeah, so I thought in this video that we would paint this bottle and I would show you how to paint clear um, objects, so see-through objects because it can be quite tricky. And I'm going to try and break it down to you how I do it and you can use my way or you can use other way. It doesn't matter how you do it, just like if you just sort of explore different ways to do things and you can come up with your own way of painting and We'll do it like that, but I'll just show you my way of how I do it. So, let's get started. So the way that I sort of section it out in my brain while I'm painting is I remember highlights, um, and highlights is the part when you use masking fluid. You want to keep this part of the paper white because it's the lightest part of the painting. You do not want the paint to touch this part. Next thing I break off into sections is light tones. Now, don't confuse light tones with highlights. Highlights is basically you do not want to touch the paper paper with a paint, but with light tones you want to use the lightest shade that you see on the actual subject that you're painting. So it's kind of like painting by numbers and then from that next one would be mid-tones. So mid-tones is like slightly darker than the light tones and you just sort of like paint all the sections in there and finally but not least the dark tones as well as the details. So. This is the section where you add all the details and then your painting really starts to take form and starts to look like the thing that you're actually trying to paint. And just another side note before you start painting is to always do a couple of sketches before you actually start drawing the main piece. Um, but in this shot I've already did paint, like do some quick sketches of the bottle from different angles, just sort of get idea, an idea of like the form, the shape and all the like curvatures, like just everything. And then I also did a colour swatch in my little in my sketchbook to just sort of test out different um, shades and, and what sort of matched the actual real product. So right now I'm just adding the masking fluid and before I add the paint I'm gonna wait for it to dry. And then from there I'm going to be putting the lighter shades and then after that dries the mid-tones and then the darker tones and then the details in. So you can watch my process um, and I'll play some music so that you're not just watching and listening to nothing. So 